Hey guys! So today I'm going to be talking about habits. Good habits, bad habits, changing habits, all that stuff. So um, I have quite a few bad habits, um, as well as all my amazing good habits, of course. But there's a, a lot of bad habits that I'm sure you guys can relate to. Um, I am totally addicted to sweets, and I'm talking about habits, things kind of like... Okay, so by habits, I mean things like every morning if you have to go and have a muffin with your coffee in the morning, or every evening when you're watching TV, you have to have a bowl of chips, stuff like that, or uh, these are the bad habits, um, smoking, things like that, you know, drinking when you're out socially, or um, just things like that that could hinder your progress a bit, and you kind of want to fix up. So a lot of people uh, give in to their habits and that's it. They're just like, that's the way I am and I have that habit, right? Um, so I propose that we all change. So I, I, I've read a lot, a lot of studies and I've done my own um, experiments on myself and others. And I find the best way to curb bad habits is to replace them with good habits, okay? So um, say you need that muffin in the morning. Say every morning, you're going to Starbucks, you get your coffee, that's fine, and then you also have to have a pastry or a muffin with it every single day. It just goes with your coffee. You can't have coffee without that. So how you change that? So how I would go about changing that is I would replace it with something else. Maybe it's, uh, you know, it could even be something not, not food, you know, uh, or it could be something food. So you could have instead you know, maybe a piece of fruit or a, uh, even if it doesn't seem like so exciting at the time, you're going to get into this new habit. Maybe you have a banana every time or you have a, like a different drink, maybe like a tea instead of a coffee, just so it's not that, that connection, the coffee and the muffin right? Um, or if it's like eating chips at night while you're watching TV or popcorn or whatever it is, something bad. Often people have trouble at night. They say, I eat good all day and then at night everything goes out the door. Um, so if it's something like that, maybe you stop watching TV and you go work out instead. Or maybe you watch TV but you eat raw veggies and some healthy dip. Um, and I know it sounds funny, like why would I want veggies and dip instead of uh, chips? Right, but you gotta think about the grand grand scheme of things, right? What's your goal? If your goal is to lose weight and get fit and live a better life, then you know, chips every night or even every second night probably isn't the best route. So every time you watch TV, having chips, it's not gonna be great. So maybe take the TV out of the equation and do something else, play a sport, go to the gym, something like that. Um, or uh, just change up what you have. Okay, so instead of having chips, have something else. Don't just take something away. Try and put something else in its place, something good. Um, so also just getting into good habits. How do you get into good habits, right? Well, I say you just do that thing over and over and over for a month. Like let's say you say, oh, I want to get in the habit of working out every morning. Okay, every morning at 6 before work, I want to make it to the gym, do an hour workout, Come home, shower, get ready, have a great day, everything. So how do you get into that habit? Okay, you can't just go once and then be like, oh, I'm not going to go. Now I'm going to go another time. And Oh, I'm not really in the habit. No, you're not in the habit. So I think you need to force yourself. Force yourself for a month. About a month. I think there's some specific amount of time that you need to do something before it becomes just regular, you know, habit. Um, but anyways, I say, I don't know, in my books, do it for a month, every single morning, five days a week. You go to the gym. It's non-negotiable. That's the other thing. Don't say, uh, because I've done this. I go to bed and I know. I tell my husband, I'm like, oh, if I say this, I'm not going to do it or I probably won't do it. You know, don't say, I'm going to try and go to the gym tomorrow morning. No, make it like brushing your teeth. Do you say, I'm going to try and brush my teeth? Well, I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I don't. I make it every, every morning. I brush my teeth, right? There's no like, I, well, when I had my baby, there was a bit of like, whoa, no time to brush my teeth. But <laughs> um, usually people, it's non-negotiable. Sleeping, brushing your teeth, eating meals, things like that, right? So make that workout or whatever it is you're trying to get to be a habit, make it non-negotiable. So 
set your alarm. You will get up at that time and go work out. And if you say that to yourself before, like the night before, if you say, for sure I'm getting up and I'm doing that workout at six in the morning, for sure. Even tell someone, if, if you're living with someone, tell them, hi, this is what I plan to do tomorrow, you know? It holds you a little more accountable. You know, things can still happen, whatever, you wake up really tired, all this stuff, but I find if I have that in my head, my, my bag is packed, my workout clothes are sitting there waiting for me. It's all a little easier, right? It's not this big, oh no, now I can't find my shoes and I gotta, like, it makes it a lot easier. You're lying in bed, should I get up, should I not? Yes, you should. You are going to do that workout, right? So that's that. Uh, and, and it works well with eating clean also. So <clears throat> I find um, with eating clean, and I will talk about eating clean on another <laughs> episode for sure, that's my big, uh, that is my big problem usually, but eating clean. So I love exercise. You guys know I love exercise. Eating clean, oh, it's a little hard for me. So I have a lot to say about that and I can share how I kind of get around um, my sweet tooth and like uh, being addicted to bad foods and stuff like that. That's another episode. For today, for eating clean, if you want to make eating clean a good habit that you, you just do, all the time and there's no question one really easy way and some people don't like this but trust me I've done it a lot and it really does work and it can just be a jumping off point it doesn't have to be the rest of your life really okay or it can if it really works for you so I find eating the same thing every day for a month or whatever a set period of time even a week just to get you in some mode eating the same meals at the same times those healthy meals, like you plan out five health, small healthy meals throughout the day that you want to eat, um, and then you eat them, the same meals, same food, same time, every day, so every morning you have egg whites and oatmeal, then at, you know, 12 you have, I don't know, uh, cottage cheese and vegetables, and then at 3 you have ground beef and broccoli, and then at six, maybe you have fish and asparagus, something like that. Plan it out exactly. And I will be giving some real specifics at some point, but you know, hopefully you can look up a kind of basic meal plan for weight loss or muscle gain or whatever your goals are. Write it down and then go by that every day. Make those meals, maybe make them the night before, right? So they're sitting in your fridge and you have to eat them. Meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four, meal five, however many meals you're eating in a day. Um, I usually do about four or five when I'm in that zone. And uh, it really will get you in that zone and it will kind of keep you there if you keep going on that. Because you know why? There's no question. There's no like, oh, well, I don't know what I should have for breakfast. Maybe I should have Pop-Tarts? Oh, uh, there's no question, right? You know, I wake up, I have whatever, my coffee, my lemon water, whatever you do in the morning, your ritual, try and get a morning ritual. I may do an episode on that too. Um, I'm getting all these ideas, I need to write them down. Anyways, do your morning ritual, have your breakfast, oatmeal and egg whites, whatever it is, yogurt and fruit, you know, whatever you've decided what your, your ultimate healthy breakfast is, you have it. And you don't question it. You don't think, I think I'll go for pancakes instead, or oh, maybe I'll skip breakfast, or because that leads to just more bad habits happening, right? So you have what you're supposed to have. And then when you're at work and lunch rolls around, you don't think, oh, maybe I'll just go grab a bagel and cream cheese. No, you think, hey, I have my lunch packed and I'm going to eat it now at the right time, the right stuff. Um, so try that out. Like, just give it a go. Like, stay open minded to stuff. I know a lot of people say, oh, I'd be so bored. But you know what? Um, it's that whole thing about, do you want to look at food for fun or are you looking at food for fuel? And I like to mix it. I mean, I don't like to only eat for fuel. You got to have a little bit of fun with your food, but it can't be all fun. You know, I don't feel it should all be fun. I don't think food should be your only entertainment in life and stuff like that. So, you know, think of it as fuel for your, for your body if that helps, right? Think of it as fuel in your body. This is the fuel you need. And this is going to make... Also, I like to think while I'm eating this healthy food, I'm thinking, um, think how amazing my body is getting right now. You know, it's healthy inside. It's going to be looking healthy outside. It's all happening, right? So you really need to like think these good thoughts 
thoughts as you're eating this food. Anyways, this wasn't supposed to be about just food. It's about habits. If you're a smoker, you know, replace that with something else. Replace it with, I don't know, an activity or I've never smoked, so I can't really relate, but you know, you got to replace it. Exercise, something else. Figure out what works for you, you know, try different things. I don't know, some people smoke carrots and stuff just to have something in their hand. Or try some cigarette replacement type thing as a crutch. Crutches are important sometimes. So a lot of people say, go cold turkey, everything. Sometimes that doesn't work, you know, sometimes for me, I'm addicted to sweets, right? So my crutch sometimes, I won't have like big cakes and, and pies and, and all these bad things. But you know what, when I'm dieting hard and I'm on some competition prep plan, sometimes I'll have like a Twizzler or something, just as my sweet crutch, just like, oh, I feel like a sweet, but it needs to be something low calorie, low fat. Have a Twizzler, something like that. It can be as simple as that, just finding a crutch, and then at some point that crutch will be able to be taken out of the equation. But for a while, you might need that little crutch. It just, you know, and it can be, you know, also for exercise, right? If you can't go hardcore like crazy, like when I finished being having my baby this time, I hadn't worked out much at all. I was in terrible shape. So I couldn't go to the gym and do what I used to do, which was upsetting, of course. But my crutch was I would still go to the gym, but maybe I just walk on the treadmill or something like that. Like maybe, and it, yeah, I was like, oh, this is such a stupid workout, like compared to what I used to do. But you know what? I would go there. I would get in the habit of going to the gym. Even if I felt like, am I really doing anything? It's such a like, stupid workout I'm doing right now, just comparing it to things I've done in the past, right? Which is an awful thing to do. Don't compare things to things in the past, you know? Gotta be here and now. This is where I'm at, this is where I'm going. I'm out of shape, I'm gonna walk on the treadmill for half an hour and be exhausted. Um, and that's okay, I started there, I quickly, quickly moved up right back to my, well, almost my old fitness level. So, you know, just have faith that things are gonna go well like that. Um, Use a crutch if you have to, you know what I mean? And um, just replace all those bad habits of yours. I think one good thing to do is write down the bad habits you'd like to replace and then write down what you're gonna replace them with and put that like up on your wall or something so you can remember. If I feel like having that muffin in the morning with that coffee, I just need to reach for blank, whatever you've decided is gonna take its place, right? Um, or if you're going to go for a jog instead of going to Starbucks or something like that, right? Um, don't pass that Starbucks on your drive to work. You know, pass a, a nice juice place and have a nice green juice instead. So bad habits can be powerful, but so can good habits. So if you replace them with good habits, you're good. There's a lot of writing about this. You can look, uh, there's many research papers on replacing bad habits with good habits. I'm just putting it out there in a very simple way here, but I just wanted to get that thought across. And of course you can read a bit more about that probably. Yes, I think I have a little chapter on that in Loving Yourself Fit, my book. Um, so make sure you check that out and we'll see you tomorrow.